Hurricane Laura was a disastrous and historic Gulf Coast hurricane. Good Thursday afternoon, I'm Mike Naso with the latest on the tropics. You can see Laura pushing in over Arkansas now as a tropical storm, but it left its mark. It made landfall in Louisiana around 2 a.m. Eastern Time, 1 a.m. Central, as a high-end Category 4 hurricane, causing catastrophic wind damage and storm surge in areas of Cameron Parish and into Lake Charles. You can see the uh, cloud shield. Laura is very large. Laura's clouds reach from the Texas coast all the way over here into Ohio and Pennsylvania, where I live up in Ohio. Uh, we're getting into the cloud shield. And this is all a lot of hot, humid, tropical air, and there's still heavy rainfall with it. Let's get the latest on Tropical Storm Laura. Here it is as of 4 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Eastern. Laura was at 33.4 north, 92.8 west. Winds down to 50. Uh, last night when it made landfall, it was 150. So once they move inland, they lose that rich fuel source of the hot ocean, and they weaken, thankfully. Thank goodness. What a hurricane. Uh, it's moving north-northeast at 15, and this is expected to turn almost straight to the east as it gets caught up in the westerlies here. And it should eventually be uh, south of Nova Scotia by Sunday. But again, what a hurricane. What a dangerous, powerful hurricane. Uh, I was talking yesterday about a Category 4. What kind of damage would we expect? It was 150. You can see on the left side of your screen, I said something like that. This is what we're seeing now from Lake Charles. You can see devastation. Uh, that's You can't save a teddy bear from that. So the uh, pitchers are coming in, and uh, it was very, very disastrous. Now, the only saving grace with the storm surge, because a lot of people are like, well, where's this 10 to 20 foot surge? We had it. Calcasieu Lake here, you guys had water rises recorded on a tidal gauge at least 11 feet. That's right in the 10 to 20 range. But a lot of the surge is near and to the right of where the hurricane hits. Landfall was Cameron, Louisiana. So this right side here was where that storm surge would have been the worst. But look at where it's at. Wetland Conservation Area, National Wildlife Refuge, Wildlife Refuge. We lucked out that this area is very uh, rural, very uh, low populated, because that's where the water rise happened. Remember, Hurricane Rita came in over here, and Holly Beach and Cameron were destroyed. Now, unfortunately, I'm seeing some aerial footage, and it looks like Cameron, Creel, uh, Grand Chenier, this whole area was just leveled with uh, Category 4 winds and high water. So, again, we're thankful that it didn't hit a more populated area, but don't forget about our friends. Just because it didn't go over Houston or New Orleans doesn't mean there aren't people. If the media doesn't want to focus on that, uh, that's their prerogative, it's not mine. You can see up here Golden Nugget Casino, Mardi Gras Museum, heavy damage in that area of Lake Charles as the storm moved up. Uh, very, very strong winds. Hackberry got hit very hard, as well as Orange, Texas. Some devastating pitchers coming in there uh, north of Sabine Lake. Now, this is Dr. Phil Klotzbach from Colorado State. He's the de facto lead hurricane forecaster anywhere. He took over for the late Dr. William Gray. He posted this last night. Laura made landfall near Cameron with maximum sustained winds of 150 miles per hour. And that is tied with the great Last Island hurricane of 1856 as the strongest wind hurricane ever to hit Louisiana. So think about that. The last time a wind hurricane was this strong uh, was 1856, pre-Civil War. It is amazing how powerful Laura was and what a beast. You could see as it came on shore, it was a very well-defined Category 4 hurricane. Devastating and historic. Laura isn't the only game in town, though. Just because uh, August is ending doesn't mean that that's all we had. Think about it. We now have two new features in the Central Atlantic. Could this be our next storm? Could this be our next storm? If you're in the islands, you want to keep a close eye on it. Right now, both these systems should move generally towards the west. And when we take a look out there right now, you can see there's definitely organization there in this tropical wave in the Central Atlantic. This will probably be an invest area than the one that just moved off Africa. But look at this. Look at that beastly wave still over Africa. So we're going to watch this. There's also a feature here uh, in the Caribbean Sea we're watching. So again, remember, in active hurricane seasons, you often get a big hurricane in August and sometimes one or two big ones in September. So 
you know, when we've already had three hurricanes hit America, we had Hannah, Isaias, and Laura. And uh, that's just uh, the tip of the iceberg. We still got to get through September. Of course, the name list goes on. Uh, you can see we started with Arthur. We've gone all the way to Marco. And uh, our next name is Nana, then Omar, then Paulette. So we'll see how far we make it. Right now, the forecast from uh, Dr. Klotzbach has us exhausting the name list, in which case we use the Greek alphabet. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Xi, Chi, all that stuff. So we'll see how far we get down. Uh, I can tell you right now, Laura's definitely not going to be on uh, the hurricane list six years from now when we rotate the six-year name list. We're going to get rid of Laura. Oddly enough, Laura was the replacement name for Hurricane Lily in 2002, which hit the mid-Louisiana coastline. So we'll get rid of Laura's name, and that'll be... Uh, in hurricane history as uh, the devastating Gulf Coast hurricane that we saw this morning. So again, uh, I'm Mike Naso with the latest on the tropics. We're going to continue to watch it as hurricane season 2020 rages on, and uh, we'll see what happens with those waves in the central Atlantic. And it's very busy out there with our disastrous Gulf Coast hurricane hitting Louisiana this morning. I'm Mike Naso with the latest on the tropics, and I'll see you next time.